Hey guys, it's Ethan from Top Deck Cards and Games. I'm here bringing you a Exodus deck profile. Um, this is a deck that I used at Gen Con 2017 and I actually won the championship there. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of dive straight into it. I'm going to go over the symmetries first. Uh, obviously you play your two Vortex. Uh, the card is just absolutely insane. Being able to play down someone's energy phase and just blowing them out of the game is uh, its very pleasing actually. Uh, two copies of Unsummon, it's literally best tempo card in the game. Uh, you can just target a creature and bounce back to your hand, get rid of Palace of Energy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Drifter's Dueling. Uh, this card is really nice to search your opponent's hand for any type of answers they have. Unless you search out their Vortex, it forces them to either chain it or leeches or their unsummons or any type of answer they might have for your board. Uh, let's see. Uh, two copies of leeches. Uh, great card. Uh, lets you uh, establish energy on your board, allow you to pay costs on your on your symmetries, or just make your dudes bigger. It's a really good battle trick, also. And then to Crystal Cove, uh, I feel it's mandatory to play this card because Unsummon Vortex exists. Uh, it stops you from getting Vortex and you discarding your energies. And then for my last three symmetries, these are kind of flexible spots. Um, I play two copies of Reversion, which is a unsummon that bounces a creature, but it leaves the energy on the board. And then one copy of Change, which essentially helps me not just get killed in one turn. Um, two is a little excessive. I never want to see more than one. Um, I can normally power through my deck fast enough to find a copy of it. And another reason why I play Reversion is my creature setup. It lets me combo off with some of the cards. So. For the first creature, I play uh, Legendary Blade. Um, her effect is uh, you can pay one energy, she can make a second attack. Um, really good game finisher. Uh, she can summon, I've, I've pushed someone in for 10 damage one turn with her. Uh, Elena, the Star Formation. Uh, whenever you play this creature, she gains energy underneath of her. Uh, she combos very well with a version. You play three energies. Play her, go to four, reversion it back to your hand. Play it, go to five, reversion back to your hand. Play your order, and then tap them for lethal. Uh, then I have the small Eldermore kit with uh, Victory Keeper. Um, these cards are really cool because Eldermore searches out Victory Keeper. And then if you open like double Eldermore and you play th uh, three energies, you can uh, set up a Basically, if you know, uh, you guys call them Marauding Captain Lock, and what that is is while both of these are on the board, they cannot attack any of your order cards but her, but if you have two, it locks them out from being able to attack your guys. And what's really cool is that uh, Luzaris is also an order card, so it also protects her. And then the last copy that also combos very well with Reversion is Imberia. Uh, whenever she's played, she discards. A card from your opponent's hand, so you can reversion it back to your hand, play her again, discard another card, uh, get rid of those threats out of people's hands. Um, any changes I'd make? Uh, honestly, right now I'm really satisfied with how this deck's playing. Um, like I said, I only have those three flex spots where the two reversions and the chains are. Chains might come out. Uh, sometimes it seems a little underwhelming. But uh, that's what I got for you guys, okay, guys. Uh, if you can subscribe, just leave a comment down and uh, tune in for another video.